So here we have a man playing didgeridoo, which is fine. So can you imagine the guy on, from the picture before going to these men and telling them and teaching them about their own traditions, uh, history and culture? No, right? That would be really weird if he did such a thing, you know? And I think they would kindly ask him to get the fuck out, you know? Get away from us, you, know, you idiot. Um, so yeah, I don't think he would do such thing in the first place. But if it's the other way around, then it's completely fine. And if people like me talk against it, then you're a racist, you're a gatekeeping, you're all these kind of ridiculous terms they put on me, you know? Like this guy, um, talking about how Norsemen just became Christians for a couple of gold coins. That was all it took, a couple of gold coins. You know, it's ridiculous. Doesn't know about the destruction of our people with Christianity, how long we suffered and fought against it. <laughs> it's just, my point is, if I went to a African tribe or Aborigines or wherever, you know, I went to a different culture, I would not go and try to teach them about their culture or teach other people about their culture or traditions or way of life. They, I, they would kindly show me the way out of the forest and say, go away, you know. And he is not the only one doing it. There are many Americans doing it. Um, and not only Americans, but Americans are just very good at it. And, and I'm afraid that millions of people, millions of Americans believe their bullshit. Believe that that's how it is. That's how it was. You know? And that makes me a little bit worried. You know? Why don't they go to the people that are native? If they want to learn something, if I wanted to learn about Japanese culture, would I go to my fellow beer drinking Dane and ask him, oh, he took a study about Japanese culture. Would I go to him? No, I would not. I would find a native Japanese person that could explain me how it is and teach me.